How's everybody? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Starting to relax. Tuesday is a nice day for Christmas Eve because we get the whole weekend and Monday off and feels like a nice slow ramp into the season. We can kind of get our bearings. This is a very special time because um, there's a light party in the South Pole, Antarctica. To get invited, as you're going to sleep, you need to ask the spirits if uh, they would bring you there while you sleep. You can attend in your dream if you'd like. So there's that. It is kind of about the extra energy that we're getting to set us up for the next six months what we're going to need in um, reprogramming, I guess you could call it. A lot, gonna, a lot of changes happening on, our, on Earth, and uh, I believe that we will be given the things we need as we need them. And that is one reason why you shouldn't worry. So, to prepare and open ourselves to this party of light that is happening for the next three days, we just need to quiet down, focus, and open our hearts. And I'd like to do 14 breaths after some sedative breathing. And then maybe we'll just end with a Vesica Pisces. We'll keep it kind of quick today. Dog is already asleep, so that's good. Uh, sedative breathing that we do is four breaths in, four counts in, and a 16 count breath out twice. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe in for four, out for 24, twice. By the time that's over and you breathe in when that's done, you will have connected with your automatic support here. And then the 14 breath sequence is to touch six fingers with your thumb. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take a breath on each one. Hold your breath. Look down and in up and in, and pulse. And then you take the next finger. Press seven, eight, and nine, we are going to open the pipes that bring the light in from below and above. Your prana tube, it meets in the middle of your belly. An embryo of light starts to form. It grows bigger and bigger, turns gold on the ninth light. And on 10, you prepare on the out breath to blow that up to another bubble that is all the way around you with a resistant breath we do like this. <sighs> Breaths 11, 12, 13 are to stabilize your aura with the new light that is coming in from both poles. It's like a hot air balloon filling up. You, uh, after you're done, you go to this with your hands and you stabilize that larger sphere around your body by concentrating on a triangle that is your third eye and your two fingers. And then on the end of 13, you prepare your hands. It's a mudra like this. And you take your center from your belly to your heart on the in-breath of 14. And then you relax. I think we'll just spin a simple vesica pisces and be done for the day so here we go we are sedative breathing four counts in 16 out here we go four in 16 out twelve sixteen breathe in through your nose Out for 16 again. Six. Ten. Fifteen, sixteen. Four in. 
24 out. Six. Eleven. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Good. Breathe in. Four. And breathe out for twenty-four. Six. Eleven. Sixteen. Twenty. One, two, three, four. And release. Take your thumb and your first finger and put them together. And we are going to breathe in deeply. And breathe out. Hold your breath. Look down and in, up and in, pulse. Next finger and thumb, breathe in, breathe out. Look down and in, up and in, pulse. Fourth finger and thumb, and breathe out. Look down and in, up and in, Pulse, pinky and thumb, breathe out, hold your breath, look down and in, up and in, pulse, first finger and thumb again, breathe out, hold your breath, look down and in, up and in, pulse, Next finger and thumb, and out. Look down and in, up and in, pulse. Two fingers together against your thumb, breathe in by turning on the pipes. <laughs> light is flowing in from both poles and meeting at your middle. Breathe out on seven and a light embryo starts to form. The light is literally rushing in and the embryo is getting bigger on the breath in of eight. Breathe it out on eight and the embryo keeps getting bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter. Breathe in on nine. It reaches its full size. It is a full ball in front of you of light and it turns to gold on the way out of nine. Breathe in on 10 as it intensifies its gold color. And expand it to around your body with a resistant breath. Breathe in on 11. Light keeps pouring in from the poles through your belly and out into a balloon of gold that is surrounding you. Breathe out on 11. 12, stabilize the sphere by a triangle with your hands and your third eye. Breathe out on 11. Water, light rushing in, stabilizing with the triangle. Breathe in on 12. It starts to feel full of light and stabilized. Light is still coming in from the poles through your navel into the aura you are filling up. And 13, breathe in. On the out breath of 13, prepare to move your mudras like this. Breath in on 14, move it to your heart. And breathe out on 14. You have just connected your heart to fourth dimensional consciousness. It is fourth dimensional because it is the astral plane between the earth and the sky that through us is connected. 
And I want you to, to take a, a big circle and put it over half your body, starting with a foot above your head, down to just a little below your navel, like the bottom of your hips, and then spin it to the right. It is electric masculine in the dark, just an empty hula hoop, a circle spinning to the right. See it around yourself and leave it there. Moving to the lower half of your body from a foot below your feet to just above your navel, spin a giant hula hoop to the left. Just thinking only of that bottom part of your body inside the feminine magnetic circle of your lower body. And now add the top one to it and see both of them together and realize that they are crossing in a little space but that they are contrary motion. Just feel that contrary motion between the upper and lower half. Your top part is turning to the right, your bottom part is turning to the left. So they meet and then they spread out. Contrary motion, one flow. Now go to the part where they cross, the little vesica Pisces, the oval shape with points on either end. And just spend a minute there and realize there is no wind. It is complete quiet in that space. first light of creation came through that space. All of us, as the cells were dividing in our mother's uteruses, came through that space. Almost like an eye. So let's just leave that there and I want you to see your landscape. We haven't visited your, your own psychic landscape in a while. I knocked out some ragged rocks with a saw last time we were doing that because I was raging before Thanksgiving. And I just wanted to comment that the rocks grew back pretty fast and I think they are there to protect me. Not that I need them, but I think, you know, that when you find this stuff in your psychic landscape that has strong imagery to it, it's not always what you think, and it's not all bad. In fact, it's all good because it's all you, the same way like your dreams are all you. So you have an environment, you have some textures, colors, weather, nature settings, things from the natural world in your psychic landscape. What does the holidays look like to you? Is it just a race to be one or is there some real spiritual connection? There isn't a right answer. The right answer is to just be truthful with yourself about how you feel. The holidays are definitely not all good for everybody as much as you get through it by counting on the things that hype us up and sweeten us up and the lights, the, the balance sometimes lands dark for people. And I would like to offer this light party as another place of belonging. I would like us to take all of our psychic landscapes right now and put it in Antarctica. Have you ever done the Google Earth rides with people just typing in the coordinates and then taking you to look for things in the Antarctic ice? It's really fun. All you see is white and cliffs and variations of shadow And then there's a hole, and you realize it goes into the Middle Earth. 
and you realize that there are beings coming out of Middle Earth that you don't recognize. I'm just going to call them the Lumerians. I'm not sure if that's right. But opening the passageways, passageways to Middle Earth could be one of the things that humanity needs to survive. Think about these beings of light that don't even have form. They are more like angels or... So a cross between an angel and a ray of light. And they have come to assist us to prepare for what's ahead. And the main thing they would like us to do is to leave the past in the past, to move forward, to drop all this political angst and all this worry about environmentalism, all of it is not going to matter with what is ahead. The snow crunches in Antarctica and there is otherworldly beings from above and below meeting in fabulous Taurus and hyperboles of new creation. A Taurus and a hyperbole is the same thing as a donut in an hourglass. It's what galaxies look like. It's what the Earth looks like with this, if its magnetic shield was visible. It's what we look like if our aura and what comes in through our prana tube. It's about magnetic and electric interaction see that over in Antarctica right now and allow yourself the freedom to visit there in your dream right now tell yourself it might be nice to go to the South Pole in the next few nights gonna leave it there I uh, I put my health first you know I put my light work first and you know the bottom line is my housework suffers my uh, spa products in my store have been a little thin and I am baking body butters this afternoon hey you okay so um, I'm open until Monday till 6, noon to 6 every day. If you want to stop by, do some hiking. I had some hikers this morning. It was really, really fun to have people. I'll give you a cup of cocoa if you make it to the falls and back. See you soon. Bye.